It, here, okay, here he is. Hi, Dad. Dad? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can hear you and we can see both of you. Oh, now we see the floor. I'm, I'm going to address the audience right now, Bunny. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Geezer Show. Today, I am proud to have as a guest Bunny Host, who is the creator and co-author of a number of very funny comic strips. Bunny and I both share a membership in the uh -huh. Long Island chapter of the National Cartooner Society. Uh, Bunny, let's talk about your background uh, from the time you were Madeline Metz until you became Bunny Host, cartoonist extraordinary. Can Glenn, we... I was never Madeline Metz. My mother and dad named me Madeline, and 10 minutes later, apparently, they said, she looks like a bunny. Let's call her a bunny. And so my written name is Madeline. Nobody has ever used it. I'm from Brooklyn. Went to the college that my mom had gone to. And she uh, loved her years there. And I did too. I had an amazing experience. It was uh, four great years at Adelphi University in Garden City. It was called Adelphi College then. And I studied English and was graduated as a teacher of high school English, secondary English. Uh, this was not my career of choice. I never heard of cartooning. Uh, tell me about uh, working with John Reiner. Just when Bill was, my, my husband Bill Host and I worked together. We did all of this work together. And at a very young age, Bill was diagnosed with uh, fourth stage cancer. And at that point, we were doing six features, Len. If you know what people doing one feature have deadlines, and oh, I'm doing boy. it now. Work. We were doing six different features, three weekly and three daily and Sunday. We were killing ourselves. And we, when Bill got sick and had to have you know, chemo, uh, John appeared. He suddenly uh, was introduced to us by Mort Drucker. Do you know Mort Drucker, the Mad Magazine cartoonist? Oh, I know Mort, yeah. Mort uh, had been using John for an apprentice, and he said, I have a, a boy who can do anything, and maybe you can use him. And he appeared out of the blue like a miracle. I called him my angel, and he came aboard, and he helped us through the last year of Bill's life. And when Bill died, I was devastated, and I, I was young, and I didn't know what to do. And I said to John, you th think we can keep going? You know, and John was great. He said, let's give it a shot. It's amazing that John was able to emulate Bill's style. It, it, the, the transition was not noticeable at all. John is really brilliant. He channeled Bill. He was able to get the spirit of the Lockhorns, which Bill and I had worked on carefully. This is not an accident. We wanted it to be um, a two-man basic conflict with a, a very short, snappy caption. It's not, we don't do a strip. The Lockhorns is one panel, one box, and you don't have a chance to build three, three different situations. You have to get it all in, in one snappy line. John got it from the beginning. I would give him uh, a situation and, and, and a snappy line, and he drew it, and I can't thank him enough. He is really a, a lifeblood here. What a wonderful, wonderful boy. He's not a boy anymore. John turned 60, for God's sake. I've had, you know, he's been with me since 1986. I, I can't believe that either. He was 20-something years old, but he's just a peach. You've managed to bridge this, you know, generation gap. Can you just talk about how you keep it fresh? I, I keep it fresh because I have a lot of uh, input from gag writers, both family, friends, professional writers, amateur. I don't turn anybody away. Uh, I get uh, reams of, of ideas. I make sure that it's short and snappy. 
that every week we don't have one of them beating up on the other, that it's very fair and square, and she says her piece, and he says his. The Lockhorns is not autobiographical. None of the cartoons we did were. It is all based on observation, and we have observed couples that don't treat each other nicely. I did not have that kind of marriage. Bill and I were very tight. You're, you're known as the cartoon lady, but I don't know if people realized what the far reaching into over 500 newspapers and an audience of 200 million. You have worldwide distribution on the Lockhorns. The 500 new newspapers, we've just had something nice. This is news, Len. We were just picked up by Microsoft Network, which is um, a vi digital and, a, and it goes around. Uh, apparently they have 500 million subscribers worldwide. Wow. And they have 150 million in North America. And that is, has been added to my newspaper circulation. So I'm getting mail from absolutely every place on the planet, and it's very exciting. I'm, I must say it's overwhelming. I never dreamed we would have this kind of outreach. Uh, the outreach is great, the feedback is great, and I'm delighted to be able to reach so many people and give everybody a laugh. Everybody needs a laugh. The secret of success, keep smiling. <laughs> what, what, what kind of advice uh, would you give a younger person today who is striking out on a career similar to yours? Len, that was the hardest question. I seized the opportunity to do a job. When, when I married Bill, he needed somebody to edit. So I edited, and then he said I had to uh, pick out gags to use from some of the, the, the stuff that was being sent in. And I thought, well, okay, I'll do that. I can try that. And then you know, it went on from there. You got to be in the right place at the right time, right? The right time. Yeah, that's yeah. it. The bunny bash, you remember so well, it was, we just started as our own chapter, having lunch at my house in the backyard in 1982. And for 39 years until last year, it got bigger and bigger. And that last Thursday in June, was an enormous, it turned into a cartoon event that nobody could have dreamed. I certainly never planned on it. It was so much fun. People came from all over. You flew in from Colorado. We had uh, people from, from Minneapolis, Minnesota flew in and Los Angeles, California. And uh, there were friends of mine from all over the country and the world some of the uh, foreign co uh, correspondents and, and cartoonists came in. And it was very exciting. I, I just loved that party. I'm sorry that, I'm, uh, that we've outgrown it and, and we don't have that anymore, but it was quite an event for 39 years. Amazing. Thank you so much. It's Len, been a pleasure uh, seeing you again. And I, I will not be a stranger. I'll be in touch with you. Please keep in touch. We'll do this privately someday. Thanks, Len. You're a sweetheart. Oh, no. no. You have, take, a have a wonderful evening. Goodbye. I, I, You're I, welcome. I, I, I,